Hello everyone, I'm Jimmy Joe. Welcome back uh, to What Remains of Edith Finch. We are in Molly's room, and we are going to learn about Molly. Um... I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. That's cool. I missed that before. Let go. There we go. Tiny gerbil cage and tiny room in the drawer. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. That is a pretty cool wall. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. This, this was not okay for me the first time I saw this. I was just like, what? No, don't eat the gerbil. Don't, don't eat the gerbil. And then, the gerbil food okay. was dry, but I didn't mind it. Gerbil food. Got it. Got it. Got it. Gerbil food. That's fine. That's fine, right? Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Okay, well, going to sleep. Can't go to sleep. My Halloween candy was all gone. As should it be with all children's candy. Eaten the night of Halloween. I ate a lot of things that night. I still can't tell if those are real or not. If those are fake, that's really awkward. I kept eating and eating. Ugh, eating toothpaste. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Gross. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Okay. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. 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 And we got a bell on her. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. And I have a bell. I wonder if there's a way to actually catch her. Nope. That was pretty close, though. Uh, up. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Could they not notice a cat? Uh, where do I go? Can I go up there? Nope. Over here, over here, over here. Yeah. Yeah. Just kept eating. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I go. jumped and I almost got her. Kitty's so hungry. I could tell she was getting really tired. Um, up. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. 
All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Just had to specify mama bird, huh? I mean, I guess all, all, I like got most, her up. most birds are mama birds. And suddenly, I was an owl. At least half of them. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. This is so cool. bigger. I thought I just had rabbits. A mama rabbit. Oh. A mama rabbit. <sighs> she was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Uh, it's just creepy. And suddenly, I was a shark. Why? <laughs> Why a shark? Look, we're tumbling. Ow. Flop, flop, flop. Flop. Come on. I gotta get further down the hill. Flop, flop. Flop, flop, flop. <laughs> flop, flop. Flop. Oh, road. And into the ocean. Oh. Now, I was hungry Now we gotta eat a seal. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Where is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is really hard to steer. There we go. And it tasted really good. <sighs> Imagine a ten year old telling you this. Like it's it's one thing for like somebody to tell you the story. It's another thing to like literally live it. I grabbed on tight. Oh. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Uh oh. Uh, all right. I. Creepy. Creepy. Octopus? Can't go under there. Octopus. Now I was a monster. And I smelled people everywhere. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it was, it's one thing to be an owl and eating rabbits. I mean, rabbits are, you know, something that we eat normally. Um, but I was big and I moved real quiet. Eating people. <laughs> oh. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Uh, uh, it's not okay for a ten year old. After the last 
last passenger, I was still hungry. And to cross the water, I <sighs> smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. I slithered oh. onto the sand. I don't have to pull myself anymore. An old pipe. Can anyone guess where we're going? <laughs> Can I? This is this is not cooperating. Okay, there we go. I got closer and closer. Anyone guess where we are? That's right. We're in Molly's room. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. <laughs> delicious. Hooray. sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. So, a lot of the stories are like this. Um, mostly, I mean, they're all different. None, not all of them are that creepy. Um, some of them are actually kind of funny. But. And look, a cat. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Maybe because I spent she a lot of time in actually turned into a cat? Room. So, it took me a minute after walking past these to realize that these are all graves or memorials for all these birds. There's the birds in the cages and there's a candle next to them and this house is full of graves and it's unsettling to say the least. One summer they evacuated the island but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Molly Conscripts. Built in 1937. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, Sven she Finch. could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. And she could have, but she didn't. That's what the uh, the one at the begin that the first episode was the the dragon in the pond. It was a slide. Her room was like a museum. For five hundred years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. See, that's pretty cool. It's a house on a boat. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter, Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, <coughs> step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Uh, 
I like how they use those uh, sometimes. Whatever's uh, wrong with this family, or, uh, it goes back a long ways. I like how they use um, different methods of telling you these stories. Um, one of my favorites is the child celebrity and how they uh, they tell you um, how that works. Oh right, look, we were through the peephole. This is where all the portraits and stuff were. Oh, that's cool. Edith, Milton, Lewis, Gus. Uh, how do I zoom in again? Yeah, there we go. Gregory, Dan, uh, Don? Don. Walter, Calvin and Sam, Barbara and Holly. Molly, not Holly. I believe this Even is in her the... 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. <laughs> um, I think this is the pink bathroom. Yeah. Look how awful this looks. <laughs> what is that? Looks like a bleach bottle. That's weird. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was very pink. It was a pretty big trace. <laughs> There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edith Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. And this is a dark room. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. From the Mil paintings on the Milton. wall, it's clear my brother Milton had been here before me. And we're in, what, Calvin and Sam's room? Yeah. All the photo negatives. Oh, I never went up here. Oh, there's nothing up here. That's why. Okay, then. That's kind of cool for a twins room, where it's split in half and then, like, just different colors. To the I knew command Grandpa center. Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. We're swinging. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Yeah, that's sad. At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Yeah. Stop! Calvin! I had no idea where this was going. Coming! I thought that he was going to jump. He finally He's going to jump, right? To do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. And then I thought the branch was gonna break. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. 
that's what I want to remember about my brother. Whoa. Uh, uh. I've already seen that before. It still gives me chills. If you're not watching this with headphones, you really should because uh when I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. It's uh it's definitely an experience. It's something you should wear with headphones. Oh. All right. Well, that it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're enjoying it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time for more What Remains of Eden.